Promises, the name given to the second episode of Secret Invasion, which reflects the promise made by Nick Fury and Captain Marvel to the Skrulls in 1995, at the end of the Captain Marvel movie. When Skrulls appeared in Marvel movies, talking about what we had new in this episode, the Skrull Council, composed of Gravik and several important figures are among the group, including UK Prime Minister Pamela Lawton, FXN commentator Chris Stearns and NATO Secretary General Sergio Caspani. Two Skrulls on the board hold positions we don't know about yet. Jack Hyuk Bin and Shirley Sager. Shirley is Talos' ally and the only one who stands against Gravik and does not support his being the Skrull General. With these people the Skrulls have control of the main information media and leaders of the Earth. Avengers. After a long strange disappearance. The Avengers are still not under the radar and no one is aware of their location. The heroes simply disappear into the Earth after the final battle with Thanos. In my opinion a big script error in a universe of movies and series where everything is connected. In a multiverse saga, where we should only see many heroes and their different versions of other realities. It seems that Marvel is showing a reality without heroes. One million Skrulls and Emperor Draj. Talos called out to Skrulls who were in space during the blip, revealing to Fury that the one million Skrull survivors of the Kree attack live on Earth. Spreading the secret invasion much further than Fury thought. In this conversation, Kalos mentions Emperor Draj, stating that every Skrull not part of his colony answered the call to come to Earth. This is a clear reference to a Marvel Comics character, in the comics called Emperor Doric VII. Drog is the name of the scientist who created the Super Skrull. Doric was a major character in the Secret Invasion comic, so it's likely that Emperor Draj will appear in upcoming episodes. Rosa's work in New Skrullos. Rosa Dalton may be a replacement for the Skrull scientist Drogue in the comics. He was the Skrull scientist who created the Super Skrull in the comics. Experimenting on Earth superheroes. In the comics, the Super Skrull had the powers of the Fantastic Four. As we don't have the Fantastic Four in the series, an adaptation was made using the DNA of four different beings that have already been through Marvel movies. At the top of the list of DNA samples obtained by the Skrull resistance from Gravik is a species designated Flora Colossus, known as the Groot, giving powers of stretching similar to Reed Richards. Second, Extremis was a genetic modification program developed by Maya Hansen with contributions from Aldrich Killian and Tony Stark. It allowed manipulation of the body at the cellular level, granting self-healing and regenerating abilities, as well as fire-like blasts, referencing the powers of the Human Torch. Thirdly, the Frost Beast, straight from Eodenheim, the fearsome Frost Beasts, probably some ice power. Her power could be to replace Sue Storm. And finally call Obsidian. Thanos Warrior is an alien from an unknown planet and race. But Obsidian represents the power of physical strength, similar to the Thing. And I believe these powers can be given to the Skrulls Gravik, Kriga and Pagan. Nick Fury's wife and possible child. Well, honestly, we shouldn't be surprised that Nick Fury managed to keep a secret like that this whole time. At the end of the episode, Fury arrives at what must be a house he's kept hidden and is greeted by, yes, his wife. This is made clear when he puts on his wedding ring and hugs and kisses his wife. We can see that his wife Priscilla is a Skrull, but she changed into human form before Fury entered the house. The question is, does Fury know that his wife Priscilla is a Skrull? If Nick knows that Priscilla is a Skrull, Priscilla could be Vara, which was the Skrull that brings young Gravik to meet Nick. Nick married Vara in the 90s. The two may have adopted Gravik and raised him during his teenage childhood. It could be that this bearded Fury is a Skrull that's why he has a Skrull wife.
In Marvel movies Skrull always work with their wives. In the trailers for the series we had the look of the old Fury. Of course Fury could have just shaved. But there's the possibility that this Fury we've seen so far is just a Skrull or an LMD. Life model decoy, sent by the real Nick Fury to recognize what's really going on. Life model decoy are droids that are a perfect copy of S.H.I.E.L.D. agents. Used in some special missions. In this episode Fury lives something similar to what the Skrulls live. Released from his position in the US government's secret service and separated from Talos and without Maria Hill, Fury is now left with only his wife against the Skrulls. Thank you very much for watching the video, you pay nothing to leave your like and comment and follow the channel, and doing so. You still help the channel. See you next time, cheers.